The head of NASA confirms 3I Atlas is not natural and the alien object now moving closer to Earth. Are there other planets elsewhere that there is life? Now, I know what you've seen, and there have been some 300 sightings since then. I've talked to those pilots, and they know they saw something, and their radars locked onto it. And, and then all of a sudden, it was here on the surface, and then it's there and they don't know what it is, and we don't know what it is. Who am I to say that planet Earth is the only location of a life form that is civilized and organized like ours? At first glance, the images looked ordinary, just another comet-like blur against the stars. But when NASA sharpened the data, what emerged was so strange, even seasoned scientists declined to comment on record. The interstellar visitor, known as 3I Atlas, already infamous for breaking orbital expectations, revealed behavior no natural object should display. High resolution frames showed patterns, structures, and motions that looked engineered rather than random. If those images are genuine, they could upend everything we thought we knew. The image that changed everything. When JWST first targeted 3I Atlas, the goal was simple. Get higher resolution data on the comet-like visitor and confirm its odd chemistry. But a coordinated imaging campaign, Webb, Hubble, and several ground telescopes, produced a revelation so bizarre it nearly stayed under wraps. At first, the composite read like a standard false color shot, faint and fuzzy. But after spectral enhancement and stacking multiple exposures, an unexpected geometry emerged. Sharp, repeating angular forms hid within the tail. Parallel ribs like scaffolding met at near-perfect right angles. Some dismissed it as processing artifacts. Then, three independent instruments at different wavelengths confirmed the same grid-like pattern. Whispers began. This did not resemble a natural outgassing plume. It looked structural. More unsettling was how the tail behaved. Instead of streaming outward along the anti-solar direction, it arced back as if constrained by a rigid framework. Comet tails are usually chaotic sprays of ice and dust sculpted by solar radiation and wind. 3. E slash. Atlas's plume behaved like exhaust shaped through a nozzle. Online forums flooded with theories, alien megastructures, cloaked craft. Jokes and comparisons to Oumuamua spread. This time, though, the imagery left less room for dismissal. NASA hasn't declared the geometry artificial, but leaked notes indicate the agency quietly assembled a task force to analyze the raw files. What's at stake isn't only whether 3 i atlas is natural, it's whether we just photographed technology older than humanity. But the oddest finding wasn't the tail. It was the core, where the impossible became undeniable. Inside the impossible core. The deeper analysts probed the enhanced web data, the stranger the scene grew. At the heart of 3 I slash Atlas, where one expects a dark, rocky nucleus or a faint, sublimating glow, the telescope registered emptiness. Not solid mass, not reflected ice, but a region that absorbed incoming wavelengths, leaving a hole in the data. One ESA analyst described it as a black spot in reality itself. Yet that void wasn't silent. The imaging revealed pulses, every 11.2 seconds, a faint infrared flicker like a heartbeat. The rhythm was precise, repeating across hours of exposure. Natural processes are messy and noisy, this was not. This was a signal. When the pulses were cross-checked against parallax measurements, something more impossible appeared. The pulses coincided with subtle distortions in background starlight which twisted into spirals rather than showing the curved arcs typical of gravitational lensing. It was as if 3i slash Atlas wasn't merely bending light, it was rewriting it. That suggested the core wasn't a rock, but a space-time cavity folding geometry in non-standard ways. Caltech researchers quietly proposed a radical idea. The core might be a transit chamber, an engineered pocket where space is compressed, enabling jumps without inertial propulsion effectively a propulsion mode beyond human engineering. The public never received those technical details in official briefings. Leaks were enough to set off a firestorm. 
news outlets reported the heartbeat of 3i slash Atlas. Social media labeled it the alien engine. Conspiracy circles argued governments were preparing for contact. If the core were not solid but engineered, the chilling question followed. What lies inside? The patterns. Nobody can explain them. When raw image stacks of 3i slash Atlas were enhanced and layered, bizarre features appeared across its outer shell. Instead of chaotic gas and dust, researchers observed geometric streaks, arcs and lines repeating at consistent intervals, etchings across the object's surface. They aligned into grids, spirals and sharp angles no comet or asteroid has shown. Skeptics suggested processing errors, cosmic ray strikes or detector noise. But repeated observations from independent instruments, Webb, the VLT, and even Deep Sky Amateur, CCDS, confirmed the formations. The patterns were real. Even weirder, they moved. Over time, the streaks shifted and glowed faintly in the infrared. They weren't fixed scars. They behaved like currents in a magnetic field or encoded transmissions scrolling across a display. Some compared them to runes, others to circuitry. On fringe forums, people speculated these were instructions. Was 3i slash Atlas broadcasting a hidden message? Coordinates? A countdown? A language? NASA declined comment, which only fueled suspicion. Crowdsourced researchers ran Fourier analyses and found that intervals between glowing streaks matched prime number sequences, exactly what SETI strategies long predicted an intelligent beacon might show. Coincidence or deliberate design? The most disturbing twist came next. As the patterns brightened, they began to interact with nearby starlight, bending and shaping beams into precise glyph-like forms. If 3i slash Atlas was attempting to communicate, what was it saying? And to whom? The movement that shouldn't exist. Astronomers already considered 3i slash Atlas extraordinary for its chemistry and trajectory. Tracking data then revealed something more alarming. Unlike comets that drift under gravity's leash, 3i slash Atlas executed precise course changes. Not random jerks from outgassing, but deliberate linear deviations. NASA's orbital modelers first noticed a 0.19 degree shift over 14 hours. Small in degrees, enormous for interstellar motion. The deviation wasn't chaotic tumbling. It was a straight, purposeful adjustment, as if an invisible thruster fired. Independent observatories, LOH Observatory in Arizona, Gemini South in Chile, and Japan Subaru all recorded the same sunward acceleration. Modeling the push matched the direction of the object's sun-facing plume, previously likened to a propulsion exhaust. If natural, 3i slash Atlas would be the most precise comet ever, venting just the right mass at just the right angle to mimic a maneuver no random body should manage. The precision was unnerving. The object wasn't wobbling, it was steering. Inside NASA, whispers circulated about non-gravitational forces that resisted easy explanation. A leaked memo compared the signature to ion drive exhaust like human ion thrusters but scaled by orders of magnitude. If it was steering, where to? Analysts noted its altered path came close to aligning with Earth's orbital plane and timed the object to disappear behind the sun during October 2025, creating an observational blind spot. Was 3i slash Atlas hiding something behind solar glare, or had it adjusted course to ensure we'd miss a critical maneuver? Either way, one fact became clear. This object was not passive. A strange glow inside. For weeks, telescopes saw 3i slash Atlas as a cold, dark body emitting mostly a faint CO2 plume. Then Webb's deepest infrared modes pierced the void and detected a faint, steady glow within the object. It pulsed every 11.2 seconds, not rotational flicker, not reflected sunlight, but an internal source. Spectrographs showed the emission wasn't thermal like molten rock or simple chemical combustion. The spectrum resembled photonic emissions, laser-like or engineered optical output. Was 3i slash Atlas harboring a power source, a reactor, or something stranger? Theorists scrambled. Some suggested crystallized CO2 cracking under heat. Others proposed exotic nuclear decay. 
Fringe analysts pushed further, arguing the pulse resembled a deliberate signal. Mathematicians noted sequences that mirrored prime numbers, a pattern rarely produced by chance in nature and long considered a likely marker of intelligence. The implications were staggering. Could 3i slash Atlas be transmitting? If so, not necessarily to us, but across space. If it was communicating, what was the message and to whom? The glow grew stronger each week, bending background starlight into warped spirals. Some astronomers whispered about gravitational distortions, a miniature lens embedded in the object. If natural, it represented an unprecedented phenomenon. If artificial, it implied a device capable of altering space locally. Distortions intensified in sync with the internal pulses, implying cause and effect. Each flare corresponded to a ripple in the cosmic fabric. Speculation boiled over, a test of technology, a drive system, or evidence of a higher dimensional structure within the object. A few theorists suggested 3i slash Atlas wasn't moving through space so much as moving space around itself, slipping distances without obeying conventional velocity. If true, this was not merely an interstellar visitor, it was a machine bending or bypassing physics. Distortions in reality. The final images shocked even hardened skeptics. Around 3i slash Atlas, stars that should appear as straight tracks were warped into spirals and arcs, as if an invisible hand dragged the sky through a lens. Initially, researchers suspected gravitational lensing like that caused by massive galaxies, but 3i slash Atlas lacks the mass to bend light that way. The distortions seem to originate inside the object, folding space from within. Light bent inward rather than around, producing impossible angular displacements. In some frames, stars duplicated, flickering briefly in two positions before snapping back. Caltech analysts described this as a localized space-time fracture. Others whispered the word gateway. If genuine, 3i slash Atlas was doing something no natural body had ever done, rewriting local geometry as it moved. What alarmed NASA most was timing. The distortions peaked precisely when the internal glow pulsed brightest, implying a causal link. Each internal flare produced a twitch in space-time. Speculation turned darker. Was this a propulsion test, a hidden drive, or evidence of dimensional engineering? Some theorists argued 3i slash Atlas wasn't traveling so much as transporting space around it. If so, it was cheating distance itself. And the worst detail, the distortions pointed toward Earth's orbital path. What would happen when the object reached conjunction and vanished behind the sun? Would it re-emerge unchanged, or would something step out of the distortion with it? Whispers of a cover-up? As images of warped starlight circulated within NASA, public data streams from Webb were reportedly pulled. Observatories that logged raw frames were asked to recalibrate. Researchers who had been vocal on social media went quiet. To the public, it looked like routine corrections. To insiders, it smelled like containment. Anonymous leaks painted a darker picture. A jet propulsion laboratory memo allegedly flagged 3i slash Atlas as a national security priority. Classified briefings were reportedly given to the Pentagon and even the US Navy. Why would a distant interstellar object prompt naval concern unless its trajectory or behavior was being viewed as strategic rather than purely scientific? Media outlets pressed for answers. NASA's press office offered only sterile reassurances. The images were under review and distortions were calibration artifacts. Behind closed doors, defense analysts modeled scenarios. If 3i slash Atlas could manipulate space, could it be weaponized? Conspiracy channels erupted. Users claimed governments were prepping bunkers. Others linked the object to sudden military drills in the Pacific. Public figures hinted at cover-ups, and social media fed the frenzy. Silence from official channels only fanned the flames. Then the chilling leak. During one distortion pulse, a fragment of web telemetry vanished. Not corrupted, not noisy, but erased as if the recording itself had been excised. If data could be lost in real time, what else might 3i slash Atlas erase? The closing revelation. By late October 2025, 3i slash Atlas slipped into solar conjunction, 
the one period when it became invisible to Earth-based telescopes. For weeks, no camera, radar, or satellite could track it. Solar glare erased the trace, producing the ultimate blind spot. In that silence, fear multiplied. Forums predicted everything from permanent disappearance to a sudden appearance inside Earth's orbit. The most alarming rumors argued the object used the sun as cover for maneuvers we weren't meant to see. When 3i slash Atlas emerged on the far side, the official update was brief and clinical. The apparent size had increased by nearly 40%. To casual readers, that sounded like a brighter coma. Astronomers saw something else. Comey can expand unpredictably, but the readings suggested added mass. The object itself appeared larger. Leaks described extraordinary JWST frames captured before conjunction. The body wasn't fragmenting chaotically, it was splitting in organized fashion. Segments separated evenly, peeling away in symmetrical arcs like panels unfolding or modules deploying. Upon reappearance, analysts reported three secondary bodies trailing in precise formation as though escorting the primary core. To some observers, this looked like debris. To others, it looked like deployment. The implications were staggering. For years, the public narrative labeled 3i slash Atlas a weird comet. Now the evidence hinted at something else. A system, a construct, a functioning machine. If it could split, unfold, or replicate, it was not a passive rock, but an operational object. Markets trembled on rumor. Military briefings leaked across the US and Europe, warning of potential non-natural origins. Television debated whether humanity faced verified contact or a verified threat. Public figures used the story for headlines. And one abiding fact settled in. Objects don't grow in space without cause. They don't split into symmetrical modules. They don't pulse prime numbers or bend starlight like liquid glass. Yet 3i slash Atlas had done all of it. The terrifying question remained, if 3i slash Atlas could unfold, steer, and alter space, then it was more than a visitor. It was an active presence. And everyone, scientists, defense analysts, and anyone who looks up at night, wanted one answer. What happens when it stops observing and starts acting?